Howdy, my name is Ethan Mitchell and I'm an ordained teacher and a high school band director from Northwest Florida. I attend the Crestview Congregation, camps and events at Bluff Springs Campgrounds, and I'm a member of the Alabama Northwest Florida Mission Center here in the United States. The Apostle Paul wrote in 2 Corinthians chapter 9, verse 6, that one who sows sparingly will also reap sparingly, and the one who sows bountifully will also reap bountifully. One of my church mentors, Della, always told me growing up that you can't outgive God. This goes along with the principle, share generously, and the community of Christ disciples generous response. So while I share today, reflect on that phrase, you can't outgive God. We know that when we tithe, we tithe not only our treasure, but also our time, talent, and testimonies. God was generous with us when we were blessed with gifts, talents, jobs, families, and a church family to be loved and accepted in. When we share generously according to our gifts, we ourselves can be blessed in addition to those we are giving to. So keep in mind those talents and blessings that God has given you as we continue forward. I want to tell you of one of the times where I gave of myself and was blessed because of it. One of the gifts I have been blessed with that I honed growing up, that I use in my work and through my home congregation is my creativity and my ability to work with others. And in 2022, we had a challenge in our campgrounds. We had just finished our camp for high schoolers at Bluff Springs and the kids were begging for more camp. The Holy Spirit was present and they wanted to dwell in it and fellowship with each other longer and it was a great problem to have. We also had a large portion of young adults who felt like they were excluded from our camp events as they had graduated and they were hungry for the Spirit as well. And then also like with many, COVID-19 had left a financial impact on our operational budget for our church campgrounds. So we formed a team that promised a solution for that summer. What we came up with was an action-packed experience called Extravaganza. Largely inspired by Spectacular, Extravaganza focused on developing disciples through sports, devotions, video games, classes, and music. The major differences being that it was only four days long, it had very little budget, and was an all-ages family-style retreat. We had roughly five weeks from the announcement and creation of the event until the actual event, so there was not a lot of time to work with. We spent days just calling back and forth, planning what this new event should look like, how the schedule would work, what sports we could offer, how we would assign teams, what non-sports events we would have, and so on. And with that short of time, we still managed to get 60 participants at our first extravaganza. And those 60 participants were all blessed because the five of us leading it said yes when prompted by the Spirit to give a little bit more than we were planning on that summer. Our campgrounds made a little bit more money, our high schoolers were given another chance to fellowship together, and our young adults were welcomed with open arms, with love to a place where their ministry and connections could develop further. All we had to do was try to give back to God with the gifts God gave to us. For every minute that we put into extravaganza, we were blessed because of it. Financially, our time and efforts were able to raise more money for our local campgrounds and help keep the lights on. Now, we are in the process of planning extravaganza four, which you were all invited to, in December of 2024 at Bluff Springs Campgrounds. We can continuously provide extra income and in what would be the off season at our campgrounds by sharing our gifts generously and by sowing bountifully. What gifts has God given you to share with others? In the June 2024 financial update of the World Church, we see that our 2023 worldwide mission ties were below our budget goal. Some of us have been blessed financially and may be able to help out there in that area of outreach and ministry. Some of us use our gifts every Sunday in our local congregations. We know that we can't outgive God and that we will reap bountifully when we sow bountifully. So I'll ask, is there more you can give? Are there talents you have that you could use to serve in your home congregation and area? I want to challenge you to give maybe 1% more of yourself. And if that's too easy, bump it up to 5% or maybe 10% more. Let God turn your generosity into blessings for you, your home congregation, our church, and our world. To me, Zion on Earth looks like all of us sharing our gifts together, generously and in harmony, to bring God's peace and love to our world.